Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with the Dog. こんにちは。今日は盛岡の郷土料理、ジャジャ麺を作ります。First, let's make a miso based seasoning sauce. Combine the miso with sake, みりん and sugar in a bowl. This time, we used Sendai miso, which has a relatively higher salt content of 13%. Mix everything thoroughly. Next, let's make the meat miso mixture. Heat up the sesame oil in a frying pan. Then add the grated ginger and garlic and saute. When it starts to give off a fragrant aroma, add the finely chopped onions and continue to stir fry. All the ingredients are finely chopped. So that they can be easily blended into the meat mixture. When the onion is translucent, continue to stir fry until the excess moisture has evaporated. Then add the ground pork and stir fry thoroughly while breaking it up. When the redness in the meat disappears, Add the chopped shiitake mushrooms and stir fry. Finally, chop the stems of the shiitake and use them as well. Lower the heat and quickly add the seasoning sauce that we prepared earlier. Miso tends to burn easily, so mix quickly. Once the miso is well combined, add the chicken stock or water and turn up the heat. Let it simmer for 2 to 3 minutes until the liquid has reduced. In general, miso from colder regions has a higher salt content and a darker color. If you use a miso with a lower salt content, increase the amount of miso accordingly. When the water has evaporated a little and the mixture has thickened to this degree, add the ground black sesame seeds and sesame oil. By the way, this meat miso is also delicious when served over grilled eggplant or tofu or mixed with rice. Combine everything thoroughly, and the meat miso is now ready. Let it cool down and then transfer it to a container. Now, let's make Morioka Jajamen. Place the frozen udon noodles in a pot of boiling water. While traditionally flat noodles like Kishimen are used in Jajamen, we are using regular frozen udon noodles that are more easily available. When the noodles have loosened and heated through, place them into a mesh strainer. Thoroughly remove any excess water. Then place the udon onto a plate and spread them out. Alternatively, you can try making it with cold udon noodles. When the boiled udon noodles are cooled down in ice water, They become firm and chewy and have a delicious texture. Arrange shredded cucumber on top of the noodles. Add a finely chopped long green onion and place the meat miso mixture in the center. Top with grated ginger and beni shoga pickled ginger. To enjoy Morioka Jajamen, mix the noodles and the toppings thoroughly. The characteristic of Morioka Jajamen is that you can enjoy it while creating your own preferred taste. You can add extra meat miso, spring onions, salt, pepper, Sichuan chili oil, and other ingredients. It's a very free and interesting dish to eat. To help you customize the flavor, We'll present two examples for you to try. For the first bowl, add grated garlic and Sichuan chili oil. 
Toast to coat and enjoy the spicy flavor. For the second bowl, add more meat miso mixture and shredded cucumber. Finally, pour over apple vinegar for a refreshing taste. At Jajamen Special Tea Shops, it is popular to make egg soup by whisking an egg with the leftover noodles in the bowl and pouring boiling water from the udon over it. The meat miso can be stored in the refrigerator for about a week or frozen for later use. Good luck in the kitchen! こちらでパフェを食べたいんです。船橋東部デパート7階にあるダッキーダックはパスタとケーキのお店です。美味しそうなイチゴ。こちらが今お店の雰囲気は落ち着いていて、空いている時間帯なら一人でのんびりと過